Hello everybody, this is Nia Fader. I'm here with a weekly astrological message, this time for March 13 to 21st, 2021. This is where I talk about celestial transits that affect all of us, all zodiac signs. I want to remind you all before I start talking about this week, I still have 30% off COVID uh, special discount. If you want to use it for any course or reading, just contact me. So, I'm not going to talk about the new moon in Pisces, powerful new moon in Pisces. I did in the last video. If you want to hear about this new moon's energies, please refer to the last video. However, Sunday the 14th, we're having Venus conjunct Neptune. This is, we feel it a few days before, we feel it a few days after. Generally, uh, an effect that causes us to lose our boundaries, to... Uh, um, our boundaries to dissipate and the need for intense reunification is is heightened it is a time that we have less boundaries that we become more idealistic and more romantic and definitely a great time to fall in love this is also a time that we can enjoy ourselves better it's a time that we can have greater imagination and inspiration but do keep your legs on the ground and try and see the full picture realistically if you are in a new relationship, either with a job that provides you money with yourself or with another person, just remain realistic and enjoy it. Other than that, Sunday the 14th looks good, but the fact that the moon is conjunct Chiron, which makes it a sensitive day. If you feel more vulnerable, um, calm yourself through that day and also be careful not hurting other people. Monday the 15th, Mercury steps into Pisces for the next two and a half weeks we all can enjoy um, a slower pace on the one hand we can enjoy more inspiration and imagination as I've said before but this is a time that we could have the need to flow with things with the current current and not actually be as active and um, you know independent as we were in the past um, this is a time also that our communication becomes more blurred so we have to make it exact and make sure that we are actually understanding what we were told and that people understand us tuesday the 16th it starts a bit heavy um it starts a bit too um obsessive or compulsive but it gets better as it gets on and by the evening time eastern european eastern european time and uh, we have the Sun sextile Pluto again we feel it a few days before a few days after and we have Pluto sextiling Venus just two days after these are both um, effects that can give us more inner strength and more will to play a part on the stage of life and actually reinitiate creativity um, Wednesday the 17th not a much not much tolerance around it is a great day to make new uh, familiar to actually experience things you've never experienced before and it's a wonderful day to have a feeling of a healing when it comes to your personal initiative and action just don't overdo it don't push yourself to corner that you have to really struggle against remain flexible Tuesday the 18th we have Venus sextiling Pluto I've just said what it means it really um, energizes our will to gain satisfaction in our, in, our, in our life and value in our life from relationships from money from assets from ourselves and um, all together it could cause us to you know want to better ourselves maybe go to the gym again maybe pamper ourselves or maybe get a new or a, a, not a new but get a spouse you know that loves us or uh, maybe get a better job we have to make sure that all these changes and upgrades that we're doing are not on the expense of other people and we're actually doing them in a positive not egotistic manner friday the 19th very energetic day very impulsive day not a good day for communication but it's an amazing day for physical activity for initiative for taking things forward in like more career realms or uh, artistic realms um saturday the 20th we have march equinox uh, in the skies sun steps into aries astrological new year comes to pass and basically in the northern hemisphere it's the official beginning of spring and the 
southern hemisphere, the official beginning of autumn here in the northern sphere, um, days are going to get longer. We are officially entering spring. This is an energy of fruition. This is an energy of reawakening, of creativity. While in the southern hemisphere, we could have an ignition, the same ignition, but an ignition to conserve, an ignition to make sure that we are preparing ourselves for winter. Um, this is a great day to do any ceremony, especially in nature, but don't go out too far. The safe and the closer are better on this Saturday the 20th. And Sunday the 21st, Venus steps into Aries for the next month. Our need to gain satisfaction and value becomes more immediate and impulsive and childish. Our need to be loyal to our self, to our needs, to our aspiration is heightened. Um, it's a great time to enjoy ourselves, it's a great time to step forward, but as I've said before, don't overdo it. <laughs> um, Mercury planet of communication sextiles Uranus on that day as well. This is again a f uh, kind of transit we can feel a few days before and a few days after. It's a great time to inseminate your mind with new information and ideas, to expand your views, to actually take yourselves and navigate yourselves to new places in society. It's a great time to innovate and have inspiration and new ideas. So that's about everything I've had to tell you this time around. I want to thank you for sharing these. They expose these videos to more people and commenting on them. I wish us all, may we live long and prosper. This is Nia Feiner. Goodbye.